What are we doing? Well, that last little uh, thing we did with the old frames got me wondering about the integrated hidden set. I know we were the first BMX company to do the hidden set, which was uh, Italian. Penarello was the frame maker. He invented it, and then Campy made the headset. And I remember the very first one we ever made was on a race frame that I rode myself. And a lot of the team riders thought it looked terrible, looked like a Coke can, blah, blah, blah. Nobody liked it. But I've been wondering what the first production frame we ever put it on was. So I'm digging through some old catalogs here. I've got 2000. We didn't have a hidden set bike. I can't find anything but uh, 01 or 02. But I've got an 03 catalog that has three frames in it with hidden sets. An RV, which is the race frame, that's the frame that I rode. The RV24, which is just the cruiser version. And then the Neil Wood signature frame. So the only frame we have here of those three is the Neil Wood signature frame. So here's the Neil Wood signature frame. It's got the hidden set. And then I kept kept going after that and I've got an 04 catalog in 04 we've got the Behringer frame with the hidden set so last last week I thought maybe the Behringer was the first but the the wood and the race frames were before the Behringer frame and then in uh also in 04 we made another catalog that has the race frames and Neil's frame with the hidden set. Now by 06, Rob Wise on s and 06. Now by 06, we've got the black bikes got it. Um, the uh, LAF frames got it. So by 06, it was becoming, you know, more of a, a, a mainstay for us. But as of now, it looks like the first S&M frames with the hidden sets were the RV 20 and 24 and the Neil Wood signature frame. So if anyone's got a 2001 or 2002 catalog out there, hit me up on Instagram and uh, let me know what you find out. All right, it's Tuesday morning here at the building. We have some frames being dropped off that just made them back from paint. Looks like we got a bunch of 26 inch frames on there. 26 inch ATFs. Got the trans gold, trans teal, trans green. And what are these right here? ATF XL frames in pink. This is a new colorway. I'll get some uh, pictures and a video of that here shortly. All right, this is really cool. We just got back a bunch of 26 inch pitchforks from paint and these are uh, these are the colors that are going to match those 26 inch atf frames got the trans teal trans purple trans gold trans green back there gloss black some gloss clear right there did a small number of these and uh we might be doing some more in the future here 26 inch pitchforks and trans colors in stock now all right we have a real special order leaving here today to the one and only street legend Edwin De La Rosa, he's picking up an S&M 40 bag. Got the S&M dad hat right there. S&M classic shield t-shirt. S&M welder t-shirt. Got that fit target hoodie right there. And some S&M socks. So Edwin De La Rosa, your stuff's on the way. All right, we have a new color alert here at the building this week. We now have ATF XL frames in hot pink. They also have a new sticker kit. It's kind of a, a leopard print. Came out looking really good. Let's walk this bad baby over into the sunlight. This is too nice to be in the shade. Look at that. Woo, lordy, that's a good looking frame. ATF XL frames, hot pink, Steven approves. James Eason, what are you doing? What's up, James Murphy? Uh, we got a bunch of 26 inch pitchforks in in multiple colors yesterday so i'm going to get a bunch of pictures for our website now we got these in a uh, trans green trans teal trans orange gloss clear gloss black and trans purple now these 26 inch pitchforks are a little bit different than the previous ones we made and i want you to tell me what's different about them james murphy so we got the old ones for 425 
Axle to crown 203 steer tube, and these new ones are now 172 length steer tube and 395 axle to crown. So a little shorter, don't have to make up for the uh, suspension on the front end. All right, well, thank you. These are going into stock today. All right, Rita's over here putting the stickers on the new hot pink ATF XL frames. These will not last long. Can almost guarantee that. Thank you, Rita. So Thomas is over here cleaning up some 26 inch fork legs, making sure that all the material is cleaned up to perfection. All right, Margarito is over here cutting 26 inch fork legs. Next day, I'll head over to Thomas. We'll clean them up, make sure everything's perfect. All right, Rodrigo's over here welding up a bunch of Pitchfork XLTs. gets old never gets old all right it looks like the welding aisle is in full-blown mod frame mode got a bunch of them completed right here on this rack got a bunch more on this rack right here next thing uh they're gonna go over here to the reamer gonna ream that seat tube make sure everything's perfect then they make it to the rack and probably off to paint by the end of this week mod frames